Hi everyone, welcome back. It's been a while. So before I begin this makeup tutorial, I'm going to pop no, I'm not going to pop. I'm going to shave my brows slightly. So I do grow a bit of hair literally on my eyelid. So I just want to clean it up a little bit. And this is the fastest way. I'm, I'm a mum. So I've got no time to get my brows threaded or waxed. So I recently found these from, Pr from Priceline. So yeah, really handy to get rid of any fluff around the face. Now I'm going to go in with the Savannah Rose Brow Butter in the shade Dark Brown. I also purchased this brush from her. So one end is a spoolie and one end is an angled brush. And I'm obsessed. I bought two of these because in case I lose one and nearly poke myself in the eye. <laughs> so yeah, I'm just going to fill out my brows, especially where it's really sparse. But I'm just going to go in in feather-like strokes, as you can see. Honestly, guys, 2020 has taught me less is more. So, 2020 or 2021? Sorry, 2021. I'm so out of it. <laughs> so, yeah, just going in, filling in those sparse areas, seeing if they're somewhat alike on both sides. Now, don't stress if it doesn't look symmetrical. Because like what they say, your brows aren't twins, they're just sisters, okay? Yeah, so just going a little bit more heavy on the ends of it. And just filling in the inner corners slightly. Which takes us to the brow soap oh my god i'm obsessed with this stuff watch how my brows transform so this is like a gel like formula and it seriously keeps my brows intact like it does not move as soon as i lay this on my brows it stays like that all day so amazing it doesn't feel heavy I used to use hairspray and after a while I just find like my eyes used to get irritated and I, I think it's just like from having hairspray that was so heavy on my brows because I'm quite sensitive. <laughs> so yeah, this stuff is amazing. It's changed the game, the brow game completely. It's so easy to use and you get this little spoolie with it. Yeah, as you can see, I'm just brushing it up. Now it looks crazy right now. But in a second, I will complete the brow. So what I do is I will fill in the extra gaps. As you can see, there's a bit of gaps because I've brushed it up. But I'm just going to go in and touch it up once again with the brow butter. Same brush. And yeah, just fill it in and just go. I just follow where my brow goes or where I want it to go sort of thing. I used to dread doing my brows, but ever since I came across these two products, it's such a game changer, honestly. And I just do it in seconds and it looks amazing. Okay, so now I'm going to grab the Savannah Rose Cosmetics Lavender Sponge. This has been my favorite sponge for the longest time. And I'm going to pop this Ren Skincare Optimum Skin Oil. It's an omega-3 one. I discovered this while I was pregnant. It's really safe to use for pregnancy. So yeah, just popping it on my face. And then I'm going to go in with the lavender sponge. Removing the excess from the hand. And just dab, dab, dab. Dabbing away. Popping a bit on my lips. Because it's my lips have been so dry. Hey, like it's winter here in Australia. And it's been so cold. But yeah, this sponge is seriously the softest sponge I own. I've tried so many sponges and it's absolutely amazing. Now I'm going to go in with this foundation. This is the NYX Cosmetics Can't Stop, Won't Stop foundation. It's a drugstore foundation and you can get it from Priceline. Now, yeah, just popping it on my skin. And I tend to go to this one... Um, during the colder times because my face is a little bit lighter I haven't really gone to the beach so yeah my face is a little bit lighter 
once again using the lavender sponge now I will pop all these details down below so make sure you check that out and yeah you can buy this sponge online yeah so this is the one I, I've owned this no word of a lie ever since she released these sorry just burped um since she released these sponges and it's never broken me and they're so easy to clean honestly you just don't know till you get your hands on it it is amazing and the good thing about this sponge you can use it dry or damp okay so i'm going to go in with this makeup forever hd foundation but i use it as a contour stick and it's in the shade y505 And just using this concealer brush to apply it around my face just to give my face a little bit of color also contour does wonders as you would have seen on the thumbnail <laughs> I love contour like how did I used to go to school with just orange foundation no highlight no foundation uh, no contour the makeup game has changed over the years which is so amazing. So I'm gonna go and use that sponge once again and blend it all out and look how fast it blends out the contour. Look it, look it. So yeah, how I contour is, sorry, will be different to how you contour because everyone's face shape is different. But if you have a similar face shape to mine, just follow the steps, girlfriend. starting to feel myself already <laughs> Ooh, changing the lights setting seeing which one's best but yeah this one's the best <laughs> the other ones are too warm yeah so also contouring my neck I think is really important because your neck is still part of your face you know and I'm trying to get rid of that double chin on mine <laughs> Yeah, so now blending the nose. So I really wanted to leave this footage in here so you guys can see how I contour. If you've never cream contoured and you want to learn how to, this is exactly how you do it. And now I'm going to go in with this Born This, uh, Born this Way concealer. It's a multi-use concealer in the shade Nude. And concealer is my favorite product ever. It just gives you an instant eye lift. And I'm going to blend it once again with the lavender sponge. <laughs> I'm obsessed with this sponge. But yeah, I, you, like I said previously, you could use it dry or damp. Um, but personally, I do prefer it damp. Um, if I forget to wet it and I can't be bothered getting up, I just use it. <laughs> so that's a good thing about it. But yeah, I do prefer it damp. So I just pop it under warm water and I wring it out. And yeah. It really helps spread the product. So yeah, just bring it up towards the side of my face. Look at that. Instant lift. Facelift. And just blending out my nose. Highlight. Now I'm going to go into the P. Louise base in Rumen number three to carve out my brows. I absolutely love this stuff. I've been using this for so, so many years and honestly, it's never run out on me. <laughs> and yeah, I like to use different concealers um, on my face. And the reason why I love this one under the brows is because it's a different color and it also doesn't leak into the brow throughout the day I find some concealers sort of leak into the brow and your brows go uneven or they change color they can even go blue with some concealers so I love it and it just gives your face a different dimension and I take it all the way till the end past the brow and I'm just using a concealer brush this one's one of my OG faves from Napoleon I really like it So yeah, so just effortlessly blending it out, just popping back some of that contour I smudged off. 
But yeah, see how I'm not taking the concealer all the way down to my eyelid? Um, and the reason why I do that is because I'm not going for like a heavy glam look. I'm just going for a real subtle look today. So yeah, now I'm going to go in with the Benefit Hula Bronzer. I've hit pan because this is my favorite bronzer in the world. This bronzer is seriously so universal. You can use it on any skin tone, but I know Benefit have released a light version and caramel and toasted caramel I think it is but yeah for, for darker skin tones which is amazing just contouring my nose so yeah it's just setting that contour the cream contour in and just creating a, a beautiful dimension so now for blush I'm using this blush from MAC Cosmetics and it's the shade I've completely forgotten but oh it's hey coral hey yeah but everything will be listed down below anyway I just go ahead and check that out so I find blush sort of leaves the face really quickly so I, here I am really packing it on and I even go ahead and pack it on later on as well you'll see but yeah really loving the blush look uh, I've been using blush for so long seriously since year eight I used to always put blush on <laughs> and yeah just popping it everywhere forehead chin nose it just gives you that overall sun-kissed look you know like you were sort of sunburnt you know what I mean <laughs> so now I'm going to set my face using um, this RCMA translucent powder and I put way too much that's why I pulled that face but anyways going in with the lavender sponge again from Savannah Rose Cosmetics and just chiseling it out so the benefits of doing this is pretty much setting your face as well as really getting that defined contoured look so at the end you'll see my face looks a lot slimmer and it's because of this so I'm obsessed and here I like to put it under my lips so that my lipstick doesn't transfer you know when you get like you have a drink or you eat and your lip just touches your chin um, yeah that prevents that from happening so yeah just doing my nose and this is my favorite bit I recently seen someone do this I forget who it was but they set just under their eye like that and it's sort of you you sort of use it as a stencil so when you do your eyeshadow it's like having tape some people put tape but you just use baking powder instead and it works wonders so now I'm going to go in with this Jaclyn Hill palette in volume number two and this is the shade positivity I'm just using one shade on my whole eye today and just starting out with a fluffy brush on the outer corner and following that guideline that I used with the baking powder yeah so just going in back and forth circle like strokes and just trying to get that effortless blend I really love this color too it's just so easy and if you're going for that if you if you want to look glam but don't want to go too hard like too smoky a color like this is really flattering on any skin tone And also I like to bring it up towards my brows it just gives you that runway look if you know what I mean um, it, it just looks really smoky it's amazing how a technique like that can really help so now I'm going to go in with a fluffy brush it's a lot more fluffier it's bigger but it has no product on it so I'm just really blending the edges out so I don't have a harsh line now I'm going to use a bullet brush to do the under the under eye and still using the same eyeshadow just connecting it to the top and the other side excuse me sorry I just had dinner and I'm just burping everywhere and then I'm going to grab a fluffy brush but without any product 
but I think I pick up some product yeah <laughs> I pick up some product and add more just to get that real smoky effect and then I'm going to go in with this roller liner from Benefit Cosmetics it's in the beige color and I really enjoy doing beige on my waterline because it looks more natural than white I just find your eye color isn't like pure white so if you want to make your eyes look bigger this is a really good technique especially if you've got hooded eyes like myself now i'm just going to curl my lashes not that i have any but yeah whatever's there <laughs> so yeah this is a manicare curler i got from priceline and then i'm going to pop lashes on so oh wait sorry <laughs> No, I'm just going to sweep off the bake. I thought I was going to put my lashes on. But anyways, no, I'm still not going to put lashes on. I'm going to use the Savannah Rose Face and Body Spray. This is in the shade Champagne. And I just want to add more color to my face. It's just looking a bit dull. And now I'm just going to add the Morphe Luminous Spray as well, just to give a bit of hydration. So the Savannah Rose Cosmetics Face and Body Spray has a bit of glitter in it, so it's really important to give it a good shake. But um, yeah, you just sort of weigh it and it sets in really nice. So yeah, sorry. So now I'm applying lashes. I'm using the Savannah Rose Cosmetics Lashes in the, sh in the shade. <laughs> in... Um, I'm sorry I'm using the salty collection so these are the best lashes for the cat eye look as you guys can see the outer corners are really long compared to the inner corner and it just gives you that nice cat eye effect and I thought these would be really flattering to complement this eye look that I've created like look look at that look at the difference that it makes bam and yeah just did a little blur on my lash just to make sure the glue is dry and just popping it on like that i like to pop it on my lash and sort of touching the skin but not too much so now i'm going to go in with this roller liner and the color black from benefit cosmetics and i'm just going to fill in that gap it sort of looks like i've got a whole liner on top but i'm just filling in that little gap at the front and it makes such a difference so now i'm going to pop mascara i'm using this caution ultra black mascara from hourglass and this has been my favorite mascara for seriously years probably three years now since 2018 and you can cry and it just doesn't and but it's not waterproof so it doesn't smudge it's amazing it doesn't irritate my eyes i've got really sensitive eyes and some mascaras make my eyes go bloodshot but this one doesn't so it's worth the money for me Okay, so now I'm going to line my lips. I'm using my favorite lip liner in the world. I've gone through so many of these. So this is the MAC Cosmetics lip liner in the shade Spice. And yeah, I've tried so many colors, but I always go back to this one for some reason. It just really complements my skin tone. And it complements nearly every single lip stick or lip gloss I use. It's so good. So if you have medium skin tone like myself, you should definitely get this lip liner love it so yeah so i'm slightly overlining my lips just to create a bigger pout and just shading the sides as well so that helps with creating a, a really nice pout so i got this sample lip gloss from uh, i ordered something online and they just popped that in there and look how glossy it is so it's the bare minerals gen nude lip gloss in the shade tantalize and yeah i'll definitely be buying more of this because this is actually so pretty 
and it complements my lip liner so well and this eye look I'm obsessed like you don't even need to put lipstick look how pigmented it is I swear and it just made my lips look so plump I love it I love gloss I'm obsessed So now I'm going to go in with this NARS Orgasm X palette. I'm going to be using the highlighter in the palette just to highlight the bridge of my nose and my cheeks. So yeah, I'm using a flat brush to pop the highlighter on my nose and then just my finger to, use it to highlight the tip of my nose and then this little fluffy brush to highlight my cheeks. I really like synthetic brushes. Um, they're really good for applying um, highlighter. So now I'm just gonna go in with the same blush I used earlier on, just to pop that under the eye, on the apple of the cheeks and up towards the top of my cheekbones. Now I'm gonna go in with this Savannah Rose Cosmetics Face and Body glow spray once again but this time I'm going to spray it on my beauty sponge so the shade that I'm using right now is Moscato and I'm just going to pop it over my highlighter so it just helps set the highlighter and just give me more of a glow and I love how it smells so yeah this just helps set all the highlighter in place giving you that extra glow on my chin too <laughs> popping a bit more on all right so now I'm gonna go in with the brow soap once again but this time I'm gonna lay my edges so as you can see I've got a bit of baby hair we all have some baby hair and seriously this just finished off this look so well I love laying my edges out and just just makes the hairline look really neat I love that just jamming to some Diddy G music. <laughs> it's really good for getting rid of flyaways. And that is it, you guys. That is the end of this look. I hope you enjoyed it. Bye.